everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a what's in my everyday makeup bag video. Um, I was going to do an everyday makeup routine, so if you want one of those, give this video a big thumbs up. And if I get to, let's say, 10 thumbs up, then I'll do that. Before I get started in the actual video, I do have a couple announcements to make and just like point out some things that you might already notice. The first thing and probably the most obvious is yes, I dyed my hair. It's darker overall, um, no more bright blonde ombre. Um, the camera is kind of picking up like this weird kind of like hue to the color, but um, it is supposed to be just an ash brown. I really do like it. I wanted something different. Um, I've had lighter hair for a while. My natural hair color is pretty much almost this color right now so I wanted to kind of go back to something a little more natural looking. Another thing you probably can't notice because of the way I'm sitting but my hair is actually shorter. I cut off quite a bit. If I stand up you can see that it's up to here now before it was down to here when it wasn't curled. With that I just wanted to kind of freshen up my hair. It was feeling definitely pretty dead after I bleached it and I just kind of wanted a fresh start for the spring and summer. Another thing I wanted to say is thank you guys so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. When I saw that, I like immediately screenshotted on my phone so I could remember that moment forever. But like just seeing that number, it just seemed so like unrealistic to me when I first started making videos. And to know that now I'm over a thousand, it just means so much to me. And I love you guys so much for all of the support you have given me and for making this channel grow. And I can't wait to see where it goes next. So with that being said, I want to do a 1000 subscriber giveaway soon here on my channel. So hit the button down below and subscribe so you get notified of when I do post the giveaway video. So without further ado, let's get into my every Day makeup bag. Here's the makeup bag I'm currently using. It's from Victoria's Secret and I saw this online. I was like, okay, no matter what, drop everything I'm doing right now. I have to get this makeup bag because it is absolutely beautiful. Well, the first thing in here is my eyelash curler. Um, I used to just keep this in a drawer, but I feel like it's just a lot easier to keep it in the bag. And this is a Tarte eyelash curler. Um, I really do love this eyelash curler. The only thing is they do not sell the individual pads. So if I wanted to get a new one, I would have to go out and buy the whole curler itself. My everyday mascara that I've been loving lately. Now, when I say everyday mascara, it doesn't mean that I won't use a different one once in a while, but the one I've been reaching for the most and I just wanted at easy access is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. This isn't new. I know it's been out for a while because this is my second tube of it, but I absolutely love this mascara. The wand is great and it's actually a very black mascara as well. Next thing I have are my two everyday eyeshadow primers. The first one is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. If I want more of a liquidy primer, then I'll definitely reach for this one. If I want more of a sticky base, my absolute favorite product is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm almost out of this. I've had it for a long time, but this is the best thing I have found for me at keeping my eyeshadow on all day. Next thing is another product that I don't use every day, but if I am going to wear liquid foundation, this is my go-to lately, and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I've been using this for a while. I'm in the shade Fair Light Honey. For the longest time, I was never a fan of liquid foundations until I found this one because I have very dry skin, I have uneven red skin, and nothing seemed to work for me, but I absolutely love this Tarte one. Another thing by Tarte that I reach for a lot is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. Now if I want something a little bit more natural, I'll go for this, and it's just a powder, but it really has great coverage. If I want something very natural, if I'm going for a no makeup look, then I will grab my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This is a great powder. I just use the translucent shade because like I said, when I don't really want any coverage, this is what I use, but it helps keep my face really matte and it's so inexpensive. It's not even funny. There's no reason you shouldn't have this in your collection because it is definitely worth it. I think this is the last powder I have in here, but this is the Essence All About Matte matte powder. I just featured this I think in one of my collective makeup hauls or something like that but I know it's in one of these videos. 
um, and it's just a white powder. It's just a finishing powder. This is definitely another one of those really cheap products that you can get from Target, Ulta, Essence is very affordable. Next thing for the face is my Everyday Face Primer. This is the Professional by Benefit. Absolutely love this. If you have big pores, especially in your T-zone, this is great for that. And then no matter what, if I'm not wearing much makeup, if I'm wearing a full face, something I always use is a highlight. And my favorite is the Champagne Pop by Becca. I've talked about this in a couple of videos, I believe. It's what I'm usually wearing on my cheeks unless in a tutorial I state otherwise. But this is hands down the best highlight I've ever used, ever owned. It's worth every penny because Becca is pretty expensive. Um, but this is the Jaclyn Hill version of her highlight. Only thing I don't like about this is since I am very pale, sometimes it will look a little orange on my skin. But honestly, that doesn't stop me from using it. This thing are my two everyday brow products. The first is the Benefit Give Me Brow. I've never used this. It is an amazing brow product. I haven't jumped on the bandwagon of really like drastically filling in my eyebrows. As you can see, they're they're pretty like thin. Um, I know eventually I'm going to start doing it, but until then, until I master the eyebrow, um, I'm gonna stick with this and it's great. All you do is swoop it right over your brows and it adds just enough color to make them not look as sparse. To make that last, every day I use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm almost out of this. This is my second tube of it, but it's a great brow gel. Um, I've tried drugstore ones, I've tried other high-end ones, but I always go back to this. This thing is my everyday liquid eyeliner, which is the Lorac Front of the Line Pro in black. Um, I've tried different ones. I've tried to, you know, get off of the Lorac kick, but I can't. I cannot. I um, recommended this to my best friend, and she absolutely loves it now. She uses it all the time, so please trust me when I say that this is the best eyeliner out there. Another product I use every day that I definitely keep in my makeup bag is my under eye concealer. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Concealer in the lightest shade that they have. I just love to use this underneath my eyes. Sometimes I'll use it on problem areas, but because it's a tiny bit lighter than my skin tone, I try to keep it in this general area. Um, also sometimes on my chin or between my brows. This product that I have in my everyday makeup bag was recommended from one of my best friends, and it is the Yes to Coconuts um, Lip Balm. This smells really good. And I usually put this on right after my primer or my moisturizer because then my lips will be ready by the time my makeup is done to apply my lip product for the day. So Katie, I know you're watching this. I know you love this stuff. So thank you for getting me hooked. Everything I have in my makeup bag besides I think there's a stray hair tie flying around there. But you can never have enough of those. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, again, let me know if you guys want an everyday makeup routine just so you can see those products put to use. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and comment down below letting me know if you use any of these products that I use every day. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!